The DJI Avatar 3 is shaping up, from the leaks and community chatter, to be a very different kind of FPV cinehoop than its predecessors. Where the Avatar and Avatar 2 aim to make immersive, safe, and easy first-person view flight accessible, the Avatar 3 looks like a move toward true prosumer performance. A larger sensor for cleaner images, much higher frame rate video for slow motion, reworked aerodynamics and props for sharper control, and a package that could finally blur the line between cinematic drone and sport FPV craft. Taken together, the signals from recent sightings, filings, and hands-on leaks point to a product that tries to solve two problems at once, better image quality in real-world shooting conditions, and flight dynamics that satisfy more demanding pilots, while still keeping the protected, cinehoop form factor that made the Avatar family useful for indoor and close-quarter work. Sensor One of the loudest and most consequential rumors is that DJI has stepped up the camera sensor size on the Avatar 3, moving from the 1-slash-1.7-inch 1 1 stepping stone that powered earlier models toward a roughly 1-inch class sensor. A 1-inch sensor fundamentally changes how this drone handles low light, dynamic range, and color roll-off. You get cleaner shadows, more usable ISO headroom, and a shallower-looking image that better separates subject from background. For filmmakers who use the Avatar 2 as a fast B-camera, or for action inserts, this is the exact kind of upgrade that expands creative use. You can push exposures harder, pull cleaner color grades, and keep highlights from blowing out as quickly. The larger sensor also forces optical and housing changes like bigger lens block, different thermal profile, which is why leaked photos of prototype shells show a noticeably larger forward camera housing. Closely linked to the sensor talk are the video rumors. Multiple sources point to the Avatar 3, offering 4K footage at significantly higher frame rates, with 4K at 120 frames per second commonly mentioned. High bitrate 4K at 120 frames per second changes how FPV clips are used in edit. It makes silky slow motion possible without resorting to heavy interpolation and gives editors the latitude to mix fast, punchy moves with long slow reveals inside the same take. That capability combined with a larger sensor could mean far more cinematic FPV shots straight out of the camera, rather than relying solely on post-processing to rescue footage. It also raises expectations for heat management and codec choices, since sustained 4K-120 places real demands on both sensor readout and onboard recording. Leaks point toward meaningful changes under the shell as well. Reports mention a shift from three-blade props to four-blade propellers, a repositioned battery further back in the frame for better center of gravity control, and motors, IESC tuning, that aim for higher top speeds. Figures around 140 km per hour have been floated. The move to four-blade props is interesting. It usually trades slightly more drag for better thrust at lower RPM, tighter yaw authority, and a less noisy power delivery, which suits cinematic flying where smoothness is king. Repositioning the battery is a classic way to alter handling without changing the motor package. Push the mass back, and the craft often feels more stable and predictable in pitch, which helps when you're trying to hold a steady framing through a complex pass. The larger camera and the new props mean a slightly different silhouette. Leaked images show a bulkier nose and altered prop guards or cages that accommodate the new blades and camera angle. That is not just form, it's function. A larger camera needs space to dissipate heat, and 4K-120 workflows need better airflow or thermal solutions to avoid throttling. DJI likely had to rethink payload layout, motor spacing, and guard geometry to maintain the Avatar's trademark safety in tight environments while supporting the higher performance parts underneath. Early prototypes suggest the company is balancing that trade-off rather than abandoning the Cinehoop safety envelope entirely. Another thread through the leaks is that DJI is improving the Avatar 3's sensing and software. Expanded obstacle sensing, improved return to home logic, and deeper integration with a rumored next-generation DJI goggles or display. 
omnidirectional or enhanced forward slash bottom sensing would make more aggressive automated moves safer, and integration with a higher resolution, lower latency headset opens the door for pilots to exploit the new camera's image fidelity while keeping a tight link between what they see and the craft's response. For content creators, better sensing and a better FPV view mean fewer ruined takes and less time spent repeating risky camera moves. Multiple outlets tracking the leaks place the Avatar 3's announcement window in the latter half of 2025 through early 2026, and pricing whispers position it above the Avatar 2's entry points. Some rumor boards and price leaks show full kits floating between roughly $1,200 and $1,500 with drone-only and fly-more options sitting below and above that range depending on batteries and goggles included. That price positioning tells a story. DJI would be pushing the Avatar line more squarely into prosumer territory, where customers expect better cameras, better sensors, and a more finished package rather than an entry-level toy. It also frames how DJI times the Avatar 3 against other launches, like the Mini 5 Pro. Overlapping releases could cannibalize attention or compel DJI to stagger rollouts to protect each product's marketing window. What this means for creators and pilots. If the Avatar 3's rumor spreadsheet is true, this model will be a generational jump for pilots who shoot cinematic content in mixed lighting and need more frame rate flexibility. The one inch sensor plus 4K 120 gives editors far more usable footage. The redesigned chassis and propulsion should make high-speed passes feel more controlled. And better sensors and goggles reduce the takes-to-get-it-right problem that costs time on shoots. On the flip side, these gains will likely come with higher cost, heavier parts, and potentially more complex maintenance. For many users, the Avatar 2 remains more than enough. For professionals and serious hobbyists, the Avatar 3 could be the tool that turns what used to be a novelty FPV insert into routine B-roll and integrated cinematic coverage. In short, the Avatar 3 rumors sketch a drone that wants to be both safer and more cinematic. Bigger sensor, high frame rate video, stronger flight dynamics, redesigned camera housing, and closer headset integration. If those pieces land together, DJI will have pushed the FPV CineHoop concept into a zone where it can compete directly with larger cinematic rigs for many short shot use cases. The real test, as always, will be how well the hardware and software work together in day-to-day -day shooting. Heat control, battery life, and stability in mixed environments will determine whether the Avatar 3 is a step forward or a promising prototype made real.